Hi guys, in this video, we're going to learn about two important SQL constraints, primary key and unique. Both are used to make sure data in a column is not duplicated, but they have some key differences. Let's start with primary key. A primary key is used to identify each row in a table. That means the value must be unique and it can't be empty or null. Also, you can only have one primary key in a table. Here's an example. In this case, student ID is the primary key, so each student must have a unique ID and it can't be blank. Now let's talk about unique. The unique constraint also prevents duplicates, but it's a little more flexible. You can have more than one unique column in the same table, and in many databases, it allows null values. For example, if we want to make sure no two students have the same phone number, we can do this. Here, phone must be unique, but it's not the main ID of the table. Let's quickly recap. A primary key means the value must be unique, and it can't be empty also. Each table can have only one primary key, a unique constraint. Just make sure the value is not repeated, and you can have more than one unique column in a table. That's it for today.